Hey guys and gals, Doc here from uh, Street Outlaws. Um, welcome to my YouTube page. I've had it for about a year, year and a half, and I uh, just haven't done any content because it's a lot of work. So finally me and my daughter just decided it's time to kick it off. And uh, I can't think of a better way to kick it off other than uh, some uh, personal location modification of my, uh, my new Ram here. Been a Chevy guy all my life. I've had a couple of Fords. Had some Dodge Diesels. We're not gonna go down that road, never again. But I've never had um, a Ram gasoline truck. So I bought this uh, for my real true daily driver. Get up every day, get in this truck and go to California, Miami, grocery store, back and forth to the shop, whatever. This is my true 100% get around everyday daily driver. Like everybody else, I would love to have a TRX or a version of a TRX, a supercharged, badass, Hellcat eating, Corvette eating, Camaro eating truck. I can't afford $125,000, $130,000 for a brand new TRX, so I bought this used 2019 Ram. It's a Laramie, so it's leather package. It's loaded leather, uh, just under 50,000 miles, 2019, a couple years old. Uh, out of warranty and I'm basically gonna show you guys how to build a poor man's TRX so uh, love the color what do you guys think about the color looks kind of kind of me kind of fits the street beast theme and me uh, love the color it's in your face it's out there dark blue to purple to light blue sparkly whatever depending on the light that's what it is so uh, this is my 2019 baby so we'll talk about what we want to do here modifications everybody buys cars to modify and make it their own. Um, first off, let me apologize for how dirty the truck is. It's been raining for two days. I just have not had a chance to wash it and clean it in detail before we, we started this video. Um, but you gotta start somewhere. So I got this sport version because I love the hood. I love the way the hood looks. Things that I don't like about it um, or things that I w wished I could do about it. I love the night package as well that they have. It's blacked out badges, uh, smoked and backed out head, uh, blacked out headlights, uh, back blacked out wheels and badges, basically no chrome on it. So I wanna do that with this truck right here. Um, so um, I'm gonna get blacked out badges. I'm gonna either smoke the headlights or get the actual night package headlights from, from Ram, from Dodge or Sells. Uh, that's what we're gonna do on the front. I'm having trouble finding these badges, so if anybody knows how to get those in the blacked out version, let me know. Um, hate the mirrors. This is a towing package truck, so it's got these, you know, the three quarter ton to one ton uh, tow, trailer towing mirrors. I absolutely hate them. So if anybody wants to trade me out a set of Ram loaded mirrors for these tow mirrors, hit me up, private message, we'll get that done. Uh, custom wheels and tires. Running boards, uh, steps gonna, gonna come off. We're gonna slam this truck. This truck is a four wheel drive, but uh, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. You know, I'm, I'm a drag racer. I'm a race inspired truck. The four wheel drive stuff to me is a little bit played out. I've had lifted trucks, I've had the big tires on them, and that's just not me right now. I'm, I like to go fast. So we're gonna slam this truck. First off, we're gonna lower it. We're gonna lower the front end two to three inches. We're gonna lower the back roughly about five inches. We're gonna get these chrome wheels off. We are gonna get some race inspired. I'm having trouble finding people that build six lug truck wheels that are like racy or race inspired. Everything's off-road. So I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the right wheels there, but we'll find them. I'm gonna get these tires off. Probably gonna go with uh, probably the Nitto G555 uh, tire, some some kind of a softer, softer traction grabbing tire on the front. Uh, I'm gonna stick with 275s on the front. Probably gonna go 295s on the back on some 10 inch wheels um, as soon as we get that figured out. And what is the key ingredient to a TRX? It's that supercharger, that engine mounted supercharger. Belt driven, gives it that squeal, that whine, gives it that boost, eight, 10, 12 pounds of boost under acceleration gives it that power. So I can't build a poor man's TRX without some kind of supercharger. So uh, I haven't made my mind up or decided which one that I'm gonna use yet. Uh, my first choice is Whipple. 
Whipple makes a badass screw blower. Um, as most of you guys know, I just converted, uh, changed over from a nitrous car to a screw blower car. So uh, I just think it just makes sense, you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to Whipple, see if they offer a kit to, to put on these five seven Hemi's uh, to turn into a ProCharge. I mean, hey, I'm gonna reach out to Whipple, see if they offer a kit for their uh, screw blown supercharger to uh, convert this naturally aspirated NA motor only five seven Hemi to a uh, Corvette, Camaro, and Mustang eating son of a bitch. If not, I know my good buddy the Pro Charger have something that we can hang off to the side on it. Um, either way, I'm gonna get some kind of forced induction. And then, after we get the whatever kind of power adder I'm gonna stick on this thing, power adders aren't really good if they don't breathe, so uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do exhaust too. Uh, I'm hearing that these manifolds have a little bit of a trouble from the factory cracking after 50, 60, 70,000 miles. So, hell, if that's the case, she's already at 50. So let's get those manifolds off. Let's put some long tube headers on the front and uh, let's do some cat back, um, some high flow cats in the middle. Um, emission friendly, we've got to stay in the emission stuff there. And uh, cat back exhaust on the back with black tips on it. And uh, there you go, my version of uh, version vision of what I would call a poor man's TRX. I'm thinking, just kind of putting a, I don't know what the Pro Charger is gonna cost you, the Supercharger, Whipple, um, whichever way I get, I'm not sure what that kit's gonna cost yet. Uh, not exactly sure what the exhaust is gonna uh, co uh, cost. I, just, I don't know how I'm gonna piece that together yet. Got some things to figure out. But I'm hoping with the cost of the truck, um, hoping with the cost of the truck and adding everything, I'm hoping we can be in there around the $60,000 range. So, uh, you know, that's half price of a brand new TRX. Um, so, voila, four man's TRX.